Hello everyone, this is the G20 conversion van for sale. I'm just going to go around and just tell you what I know about it. It's a good driver, has, and stops nicely, no pulsation in the brakes. There's that dent right there I wanted to show you. There's another little dent right here. There's no really rust on the t up here on the body of the van, but the rockers are, are rusted pretty good. If you can see that right there. There's some rocker rust. The whole lower edge did get rusted pretty badly. It is worse on the driver's side. So you can see that there's a little bit in there, a little bit in there. Some little like cracking here, but it is smooth still. It is a Mark III conversion. I think at one point in time someone came along and repainted these running boards. I touched up a few spots I saw with this little bit of black. If I'm moving, if it'll come off or not. For all not in terrible shape. See, there's some of that rust right there on that lower rocker. A little bit more right here on that bit. You didn't seem to get as much of it here. That's still pretty solid all in there. But it did get it along where they collect by these wheels and these little fairing the ground effects kits. That is broken there. So you're gonna need a new lens cover. Oh, I'm missing that lens cover up there too. The tire cover's in pretty good shape. Now before I go inside, um, the tires are pretty new. I think it was like the 26th week of 2017. So he had just put them on and then took a road trip to um, Michigan. So the tires only have, they're less than a thousand miles, probably less than 500 actually, but all tires match. They're Firestone Destination 235, 75-15s, and they are all pretty reasonably new. I definitely get some life out of those. So it has pretty much new tires on it. He did a few things like new air filter oil change, um, he had a new uh, compressor pump put in for the um, a air conditioner, so that was done. Um, so there is that. So I definitely say it's roadworthy if you wanted to take it somewhere. Um, that right there, it does want to. This the plywood is bowed. Uh, you could put a little screw in and hold it up. And do whatever you want. I didn't want to screw, put a screw in there in case you wanted to glue it or stick however you wanted to hold it up there. So there is that. Overall, carpet's a little dirty. It does blow cold AC. See that there? The wood trim's a little chipped up. Not too bad. I mean, the interior has some spots, but uh, overall in pretty decent shape. So you got two captain's chairs here, and then you have um, in the back this bench seat folds down. And you can there's this cover thing here. So if you want to cover that up, you can. But you can fold that down into a bed, or you can put storage under there, depending on whatever you want to do. And it's got little privacy blinds. You want to pull those across. Now there's a little tear there. There's just some little stuff in the interior. It's not perfect, but it, it's a pretty decent van. There's a little space there. And that floor mat is a little ripped up right there, as you can see. Um. I don't know if there's supposed to be a button there or not. I, I don't know, because 
I was controlling the AC with this and all these controls, and it seems to work fine. I don't know if there's supposed to be a button there or not. If there is, that is missing. So, um, it's got a little, uh, it does have the original books with it, so it's got that book right there, and it's got the original uh, plastic keys that you can put in your wallet, and some rich, some other paperwork here that came with it for like the security system and stuff. Well, I only have two keys. I have the door key and the ignition key. So I um, guess we can start her up and hear her run. starts up every time. I had it sitting for about a week and a half and it started right up so the battery seems to be holding a good charge. I never had to charge it. Um, right now, the miles might go up a little as I move it around. I'm not going to go anywhere really far in it. But it has 114,150. The AC is pretty cold. Um, stereo does work. from that speaker. It might need replaced at one point in time, but for now it is working. Oh, there is a blue, there's a crack in the windshield, if you can see that right there. It's pretty small, so you could probably just you could ride it with it. No rust or anything like you usually see up here, which is good. That blue on the door sills is cool. Um, it drives nicely. Um, it's got power windows and everything. It's a little bit of a project. It needs some cleaning up, but you can definitely drive it home and do what you want with it. It does, it does have a trailer hitch, so if you want to tow your boat, you can do that. Um, it smells pretty decent inside. It's not moldy or anything. It's uh, Pretty decent. It's a used car. There's the prop right on the board. <laughs> so it has a rural king battery in it. But I don't know how old it is, but it starts it up, so. Pretty clean under here. Cover's right there. Not sure what that is. Plastic cover right there. Overall, in pretty good shape. Um, all the lights do work on it. Uh, horn works. It's an okay, decent shape. A little service rust right there. Try to pop that out. Show you the back. Here's your spare tire. I have not gotten into there, so I don't know what's the deal with that. I don't know if it's ready to go or not. It might be pretty old. And yeah, it looks. I don't know. So, the little button here. Open that up. No rust or anything there, so that's good. That's not rust, that's just dirt. There's a pretty good amount of storage back here. You can put your luggage and bags. And as I said, this does fold down in the back to a bed. So you do have that. It's gonna need a little work and clean up, but uh, it's a good candidate for a nice van to use as like pulling a fishing boat or something like that. All right, let's, get, let's take it for a little drive and then uh, that'll be the end of the video here. Ooh, that AC is pretty cold. Oh, the, um, so you know. It says the anti-lock brakes. That that light has been on since the start. I, I don't know what it needs. It doesn't seem to need anything, but um, so now you're in 
them dry. Dry is pretty nice. I mean, here's a little hill here coming out of my neighborhood. It's got some power. All right. Shift's pretty smooth. I had it on the freeway, it was fine. Um, so. Well, if you have any questions, don't please feel free to call me. Uh, you can reach me at 614-432-9630. All right, thank you very much.